Hey everybody, this is Stellar Firefly, and in this video tutorial, we're going to briefly, and I mean very briefly, demonstrate GTX Gaming's new one-click mod manager system. It really is an easy one-click system, about as easy as it gets, and it almost doesn't really need a video, but for completeness sake and as a reference for new admins, we'll go over it in detail as a supplement and update to my earlier new customer instructions video. Possibly the only tricky thing about using it is to simply remember to shut down your server before you make any changes. And even that isn't really what I'd call tricky, it's just something that's easy to forget to do. So the first thing we'll do is head over to Game Services within our TC Admin Control Panel and click on the Stop button if our server isn't already stopped. As always, you can't make changes to a running server. Some have reported that it's okay to make these particular changes when your server is running, as long as you then stop and restart the server afterwards. But really, to avoid any unexpected behavior or problems from trying to change files that are currently in use, just go ahead and fully stop the server first. Next, we'll click on the Mod Manager icon and we see a nice big list of mod and map combinations, each with their own install and uninstall links. That's all there is to it, and it really doesn't get much simpler than this. If we want to switch to a different mod and map combination, then we simply uninstall what we have right now, and then we install what we want. In this example, we currently have Epic Linger installed, but let's imagine that we wish to install Overpock Origins Taviana instead. First, we'll click on the uninstall link next to our currently installed Epic Linger. If we tried to install a different mod before uninstalling the old mod, then we'd receive an error saying that the two were incompatible, so remember to uninstall your old mod first. Just wait for the progress bar to finish and the dialog to close. It can take a few minutes, so we'll do some movie magic and jump forward. Now that the uninstall is done, we'll click on the install link next to the mod and map that we want. In our example, that's Overpock Origins Taviana. Then, We'll just wait for the progress bar to finish again, and the dialog to close. Once again, it'll take a few minutes, so here comes some more movie magic. Now that our new mod and map combo is installed, we'll just head back up to the Game Services section, and then click on Start to start up our server. As always, be sure to log into your server and make sure that it's running correctly before trying to do anything else with it, such as customizing its settings or installing any add-ons. That way, if there's anything wrong with it, then you know exactly where the problem lies. And that really is it. Quick and easy video tutorial for a quick and easy system. Thank you all for watching, and please don't hesitate to like or subscribe if you feel so inclined. And as always, good luck, have fun, and watch your back.